Hey guys, I have an empty video for y'all. Sorry, I had to pause my TV. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and empty this box. It's just an Amazon box I'm using right now for my empty because I needed my other basket for something else. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what we used up and what we liked and what we didn't like. I feel like this time we had a good bit of fails and then we had a good bit of stuff that I tried out and did like. So I have name brand stuff in here. I have Dollar Tree stuff in here. So you'll get a mix of everything. So the first thing I used up is this Everspring All Purpose Cleaner Lemon and Mint. It's naturally derived fragrance. 98% bio-based product and not tested on animals. It's 28 fluid ounces. This is about three or four dollars at Target. I really like this and I have repurchased it in a different scent. Um, I use this to clean kitchen counters, kitchen tops. Um, I don't use this in my bathroom because it's more of an all-natural cleaner. I like the hard stuff for the bathrooms with having four boys in the house. I don't know why I'm thinking three. Four boys, well, because Mason doesn't use the bathroom yet. I mean, he takes baths, but he doesn't use the toilet yet. But having three boys that do use both of the bathrooms, I do not use all natural stuff in our bathrooms. Um, so, I use that mostly for the kitchen. Um, let's see. Went through my favorite Suave product for my hair. Went through one of the Suave Rosemary and Mint shampoos. I think I've reviewed this for y'all before, and I really like these. Um, I had purchased some at Ollie's on sale when they were, um, and then now I just get them in a two-pack with the shampoo and conditioner for like $5 at Walmart, and then this is the conditioner here, and it has a really nice smell, just a minty rosemary smell, and it works really good on my hair, so um, I have found that's like my favorite product, and I've been using that product since the end of my pregnancy with Mason. Um, next thing I finished off, this took a while to go through, it lasted a while, the Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray and Rose Petals. It's a deodorant. I picked this up, I think, at Dirt Cheap. That's why it has the sticker I had removed. Either Ollie's or Dirt Cheap. It is very expensive. Um, I picked up a Dollar Tree one to replace it. I like either usually the spray or the liquid gel. Um, so I'm going to use up the one or try to use up the one that I bought today at Dollar Tree. And um, whenever I find some more of this Dove Advanced Care, I will definitely be buying some more of that. I don't like to pay full price if I can get it on sale. Um, I usually just try to buy, like I said, what's on sale. Um, I went through this Brillo Basics dish spray from Dollar Tree. This works amazing. If you have not tried it, try it. You spray it on your dishes while you're letting them soak and all of the nasty stuff will fall off. This stuff works amazing. Um, we went through, I think, two of these, but I don't know where the other container is. It's the Baduco Vanilla Mini Panettone. I'm not sure. Um, and vanilla. This was disgusting. Will not purchase it again. And there was another one with like some type of nut and raisin. Nick liked it. I don't like that stuff. I tried them. It looked like they were like a special for the holidays, but they were awful. Um, went through a Dollar Tree Miss Freshly's Delicious Deal Butter Bar and Peanut Butter. The peanut butter nutty butters basically you get eight count there's four twin packs so four packs with two in there um these are really good i prefer these over the original nutter butters they're not as strong um so we will continue to purchase those when we do buy them went through a pack of the mrs field sugar cookies the frozen ones and then a pack of the snickerdoodle um i like both of these i prefer the sugar cookies you get six and these are really really good um I liked the snickerdoodle, but I would definitely still prefer the sugar, but Nick likes the snickerdoodle, so when he comes in tomorrow, I'm going to let him try because I have some still put up. I made both of those at one time the other day. Went through one of these Clear American Peach. Oh, and those Mrs. Fields are from Dollar Tree. The Clear American Peach Sparkling Water from Walmart. These are like 70 cents a bottle. Um, I love these. I buy them in almost every flavor if you have not tried these. I do not like any other sparkling water other than this Clear American brand. If you don't like sparkling water, give this a try. It's really, really good. And it's zero sugar. We went through the Clorox Fragancia dish soap. It's bleach free. Um, I can't honestly remember if I cared for this. It's in the scent Morning Sky. It's just a very clean smell, like uh, fresh clothes or something. Um, I feel like I really liked this. This came from Dollar General on the dollar rack. Went through this Kent chocolate syrup. Uh, we used this for chocolate milk. If I see this at Dollar Tree again, I will definitely pick it up. We've been doing a lot of chocolate milk lately. 
So we'll definitely pick that up again if I see it because we really, really liked it. Um, went through this box of sandwich bags in the dinosaur train print from Dollar Tree. We really, really enjoyed this. Well, didn't enjoy it. I mean, they were sandwich bags. They did the purpose and they had little dinosaur designs on the bags. Cooper really liked those. So if I see any more, more of those, I will definitely pick them up. Went through this Airwick Fresh New Day Mango and Hibiscus Air Freshener. It's air freshener. It did the job. This one was very fruity, if I can remember right, and it's from Dollar Tree as well. Let's see. Went through this Sunkissed Breakfast Sandwich and Blueberry with Vanilla Cream. These were disgusting. I tried one. It had such an artificial taste. Um, I did not even finish the whole box. I ate like one bite of the first pack and threw it away. These were awful. Do not buy these if you see them. Um, if you don't, if you want an artificial fake blueberry taste, this is for you, but it's not my thing. I like blueberries too much to eat something that's artificial blueberry most times. I went through this Equate uh, Personal Wipes. We just keep these on the back of the toilet for anybody that needs a little extra freshen up after using the bathroom. Um, and there's 48 in here. I bought these as a twin pack. Um, and these are really, really good. So we'll keep continue buying those from Walmart. This is Dollar Tree. It's the triple blade razors. You get five. These work well. I only use them one time whenever I use them. Um, so they last five uses. Um, because obviously they're a Dollar Tree razor. They're going to wear out quickly. So after using it one time, or if I just do like a light shave, I might use it one or two times or three times. But if I do like a full body shave, um, I only use them one time and then I just toss them. Went through four packages of wipes. Went through a Pampers pack of wipes. I really, really like these. These are very wet. I hate using that word. Um, they stay very moist. It's another word I hate. Only way to explain it. We went through three packs of Huggies. Went through these. I really like these. These are kind of dry. Another word I hate. Um, but we had bought a case of these. And so we also had a case of Pampers. So we're slowly going through all of those. And I think all the Huggies are now gone. Another pack of the Equate Wipes. This one was a scented two pack. It's got coconut. Um, and we really like these as well. As you can tell, I'm going to be a little TMI here. I don't really use those ever. Nick uses those more than I do. So, little TMI, but apparently I'm not the only one that uses bathroom wipes. So, last few things we went through, we went through a bottle of the Snuggle, a bottle, a box of the Snuggle Blue Sparkle Dryer Sheets. There was 120. We got those at Walmart. They worked fantastic. Um, this is the Dove Kids Care Foaming Body Wash. It was at Dirt Cheap for $5.99. This stuff is crap. Uh, we went, we tried it multiple times. It just does not foam up, does not lather. It's very watery. Um, I mean, it makes foam, but it's, it does not lather on anything. Uh, so we ended up dumping the rest of it out. It had a great scent, um, very smoothie. And if you can see in the bottle, it's a purple color. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, pour it out onto the couch. Oh, well, my couch will have a nice smell. If you can see that, it's making it hard to see. But it has a really nice scent. It's very smoothy. It just did not foam like I would. I'm very disappointed in this Dove product because, like I said, I love the deodorant spray one. We went through this Mucinec Children's Multi-Symptom Cold uh, for Cooper. This took a while to get through, but we went through it, and it works really well. Last few things we went through are makeup items. Went through this beauty blender. I've had this thing for over a year. I was using it when I was pregnant. Finally bought a new pack at Dollar Tree. And this thing worked well. Cleans it out multiple times with water. Um, I just figured it was time to replace it. And that was Dollar Tree. And then these last three makeup products were from Dollar Tree. Um, I usually don't have any issue with Dollar Tree. But this one brand of makeup. I have not tried any of the other Be Pure products at Dollar Tree. Well, I've tried their feminine products and they work pretty well. Um, but the makeup products are crap. When I put this Be Pure Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer on, it makes my face burn um, very badly. So I don't know if it was like an allergic reaction to something. It did not make my face break out or anything, but it burned horribly. So I will not 
purchase this again. I actually been throwing the whole bottle out. And then these are both Be Pure Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Foundations. I had bought two, bought one and didn't realize I had bought one, so I bought the other. And these are the same color, I believe. I'm not sure, it doesn't say. Um, but these were the same thing with the um, concealer. They made my face burn horribly. So I've had pretty bad luck. Their lip products are pretty good, um, but these are a no-go for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video and I'll see you guys in my next one.